hello, hello, buddy, as I, J-Moles, of J-Moles Gaming, here with another episode of my reactions to the events of Nia Replicant. Today, I'm in the options menu. Yeah, I've been perusing, doing a bit of analysis for when we do my first impressions of this game. You see what we got here. So, starting off at the exact same place as the last video left off, we're in this little house. So, I went to the options menu. We have this nameless blade. Tech power 100, no magic power, and the weight is light. While we also have the DLC from Automata. We have Virtuous Contact and Cruel Oath. They are moderate of weight and deal 50 more damage or attack power. I'll be using the Nameless Blight. I don't like using DLC stuff in the first playthrough. So, let's talk to her. I, love you. I don't know why my mouse cursor keeps staying there. So it does seem we are reverting back, we are utilizing something I really like from the Automata. I don't know if this was in the original, but, and that's using multiple perspectives for this game. Examine, what's this? Medicinal herb, okay, we got some herb. We got some gold, that's what we like to say. Okay, so, we're gonna just leave this house. I should go to the library and see what Popola's up to. Popola? Hello. I knew Devil and Popola were in this game. I didn't know they came this freaking early into it. Alright, so let's... This world's pretty nice looking. Not gonna lie. So we just have Devil right here. You keep running around like that, you're gonna trip and fall on your face. <laughs> I think I'll be okay, but thanks for the warning. So this early on, we already have Devil and Popola. If you know from Automata, you know things are gonna go down. There's no better sight than children in high spirits. It makes me feel young just looking at them. Okay, fair enough. Alright, these pigs are great. Like, look at Oinkers over here. We can look at them. You can't even hit them because the game knows they're so good. Look at them. Why do I like these pig models so much? Look at them. Little snout. All right, time for the ultimate test for this game. Up. There's no pet button. Zero out of ten. Might as well refund it. Ah, oh, dang! I didn't get the freaking recipe line. But okay, so Yona is who I believe is writing those diary entries, and she just said that she wants to make a new recipe. All I thought was ages from Final Fantasy 15. All I thought about, and I could not stop laughing. Well, I did, because I was able to record like it. But you get my drift. But write books in the old days. And I can't read them either. They're all written in funny languages. Yeah, I can see that. Also, something I'm noticing is... This game looks... Like, this scene looks more technologically... In the past. But it's over a thousand years later than the scene that took place in, like... Beginning 7-Eleven. So, I'm interested to see the explanation for that. Thanks, old man. This is exactly what I was freaking talking about. The books here are speaking of technology beyond what we have right now. Also, I don't know why this game, like, whenever I want to re unpause my recording, puts the cursor right here. The solution might just be for me to have OBS hide cursor. Probably be doing that for the next part. What has happened to this world? Yeah, that's my question. But I do feel like we're going to be getting an answer to that. Hold on a freaking minute. I just noticed from this doorway. This Isn't this the same library layout as the one from the tower in Nia Automata? I'm not joking. This looks exactly the same. That's freaking... That's either a really cool reference they did in Automata. Or this is deliberate for some reason. Should be a ladder. Yeah, there's a ladder here as well. There's ladders here as well. And there's two rooms here. Interesting. Assuming Popola is in that room. I want to do some exploration now. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright. Let's do it. Go with me, Popola. Okay, so it seems like we're in rooms. It goes to this 2D format. Okay. Interesting that going with the angelic language there. I wonder what that says. Good morning. 
How's Yona doing today? Her cough's still pretty bad. Hmm. That's worrisome. Well, it's not a good thing. I'll tell you that right now. I keep hoping she'll at least get a little better, but... Well, it's a Yoko Tawa story, so... I'm just saying, I'm expecting the worst. I don't know. I feel like I'm failing her. Probably. Oh, stop that. You're the finest brother a girl could hope to have. Anyway, I was hoping you might take care of this for me. I mean, if my theory that they are like over a thousand years old, both of them, then I guess, yeah, he technically has. <laughs> what do you think about it? In the shopping district. They need you to get some mutton from the Northern Plains. I was expecting this to be the first quest, because everyone around town kind of did it like a once-over throughout the entire town. Well, more than a once-over, I kind of really dug into that place and talked to everyone. They all kept talking about how hard it was to get mutton. I'm like, okay, this sounds like the beginning quest. Got it. I'm on my way. Since I'm on my way. I'm back to the start. Trust me, it'll come in handy. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. Let's obtain a map of the area before you can view it. Yeah, that does explain why one of the vendors in town sold maps. Would you mind purchasing three medicinal herbs from the client while you're at it? I picked those up. I used my last one earlier. Here's some money. I'm banking that money. Can I oh pick three this up? This is way too much. Well then, buy some for Yona while you're at it. You don't have to. It's okay, really. I know Neo Automata, so I know that I know the story of Devil and Popola. Or at least the models from the ones in Automata. So that I'm just going to go into the idea that people should I spoil Neo Automata in this playthrough? Or should I not? I don't know. I'll try and keep it a secret. But if you know, you know. Which is raising me an interesting question for me. Thanks, Popola, for everything. What's this all about? Just. The way you and the other villagers always take care of us. Oh, this village is gonna die. We really appreciate it, is all. This place is gonna get eaten alive by machines or something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. People need to look out for each other. Besides, everyone here wants to see Yona healthy and happy. So hang in there, okay? This map, this like parchment on the wall like, in the middle of the screen is really interesting to me. I'm trying to figure out what that is because on the right, it looks like a map. I will. On the left is text. And on the top left, it looks like some kind of ancient Roman sigil when they like announced the year. That's three pieces of mutton and three medicinal herbs, alright? Alright, so that's an intro quest. Get some herbs and get some mutton. Number first, today Pokemon sent me a new book about a, big, a great big tree, probably the Deco Tree. I, I wish they would like stay up on the screen long enough for me to read them out loud. That'd be nice. This song, though? Okay. Not ignoring this. Oh, God. We just have a bunch of sheep, don't we? Why we have such a good song for just, like, fighting sheep? God, I love Nia sometimes. Press to set a nearby foe as your target. Move right or left while well, locked on to switch targets. Note that Oz functionality will will change to pause auto battle when auto battle is enabled. Okay. Oh, people have trouble killing these things. Put your phone on prey. Press B to collect any useful materials. Don't worry, I have played RPGs before. I know how to loot things. I have a specialty of mine. Got some mutton. You thought you were gonna get away? Well, Mr. Sheep. Seems your end has come. Good God, the blood. Oh, that's gr gruesome and brutal. All the good stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah? Are you thinking you're away from me, huh? Yeah? Right into that wall. Okay, now. I better get this mutton back to the village. We could, but what we could also do is grind here and get some more mutton. Possibly sell it, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Shades doing Never so mind, we have town. some shades to deal with. Okay. Oh god, we do like no damage. Get him to sunlight. Right, 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 right. I remember one of the villagers saying that. Fine. Oh, that combo though? Alright, they don't like to move, I guess. We can just get him to 
back up like that, then they burn in the sun. Like that. There we go. Old school book? Okay. Have fun with Phonics, the second edition. Boom. Okay. I really like the impactfulness of each attack in this game. The Automata had a tendency to feel kind of floaty at a lot of times with certain weapons. Especially if you played as 2B or 9, or not, not 9S, but 2B or A2. Kind of suffer from that problem. I still like the combat, but... Probably the weakest aspect of the combat system in the game. This feels more impactful, in my, in my opinion. no idea Shades were loose so close to the village. Well, not anymore. We just kind of, like, whooped them. Alright, time to go grinding some sheep. Sorry, but the ferry's out of service right now. I'm just here to make sure kids don't climb aboard and start wrecking stuff. So if you don't want- if the ferry's out of order and you can't get on it, you just don't want the kids to get on it either. How about we take the boat, and take it out the water, and push it somewhere else? I missed a mutton, man. Got your freaking mutton. You wanted. Oh, mutton. Thank you. You wouldn't believe how popular this stuff has been lately. Yeah, food necessities oh, are kind of popular, I can, get, I can kind of tell. And tell Popol I said thanks, okay? You got it. Got some gold? Okay. Yeah, thanks for telling me how shops work. Make sure you stuck. Need my medicinal herb. Get three. There we go. We're gonna be buying these eventually, aren't I? We're saving the we'll save the gold for now. Save Come some of that she. Got some basil, got some freaking. More basil. A little bit more basil. And thanks for the herbs, too. You're welcome for that basil. That's all for today. You should hurry back to Yona. Thanks. Maybe you want some cilantro. Or you just want some more basil. Hurry back to Yona, okay? Let's go back to Yona. Welcome home. How'd it go today? Anything exciting happen? Oh, killed some, you know, some goats, some sheep, killed some shades as well. Because I just stayed here all day like you told me to. That's a lie, we caught you in the freaking library. I tried reading books, but I finished all of them. So if you have any fun stories, you should tell me. And there's no way in hell you finished reading all the books in the library. Hmm. Well, Popola told me about a legendary flower called a Lunar Tear. No, she didn't. Have you heard of it? The Lunar Tear has not been once mentioned in this game so far. I'm assuming they're talking about an event that has happened off screen before the events of this That's of this whole scene. I guess. But people say finding one will make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. Uh debatable. If I ever found one, I'd buy you so many cookies your stomach would hurt. Could a lunar tear make me better? Yeah, we maybe have a, a few more priorities here. Sure. With that kind of money, we could buy the best medicine around. The kind that'll cure anything. Hmm. Uh Yona? What's wrong? It's nothing. Good night. So I need some magic flower that can cure anything in order to actually be better. Oh uh, yeah, that's great odds for me. Real glad you said that. The next morning. Freaking fireballs raining from the sky. Alright. <laughs> okay, I'm off to Popolis. See you later. And please stay out of trouble today, okay? Okay. Here. She's gonna go off and try and find one, isn't she? I got a suspicion. I got a feeling. My spidey sense is tingling. It's tingling, alright. Ignore the total playtime, I was AFK for a little bit there. Alright, so I think I'll call it there for today's... Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's go talk to Popola. Yeah? Go find out what's happening. What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. Today, Popola sent me a new book about a great big tree. I really hope it has a happy ending. There's nothing worse than a sad tree. You're not wrong. Poor freaking sad tree. These books speak of ancient tech okay. Alright, that guy's back here. Alright, so the same, ki same NPC as before. And that guy's dialogue was the exact same as yesterday, so I'm assuming everyone else is, is as well. Back to Popola. Hey, Popola. 
need a hand with anything? I do have something, but I don't know. It's going to be a bit of an ordeal. Roughly a 24 hour campaign I'm with multiple sure playthroughs. Aren't you confident? Uh, well, you know the little wooden bridge out in the northern plains, right? The one that's completely the collapsed? All rotted out? Exactly. We had a team of carpenters working on it, but they were attacked by shades. Yeah, kind of weird that we didn't report that there were shades there. Wait, really? But it's so sunny there. Yes, I know. Apparently, it was overcast that day, and the shades caught them off guard. Oh, well, they learned quickly. One of the carpenters was seriously injured, but they can't move him so long as the shades are there. I'll go take him out. If you're up for it, it could be really dangerous. I'll be fine, Popola. I've been training every day. I'm sure. I'm as strong as anyone in the village. Yeah, I'm sure this is going to go swimmingly. Heck, I killed a bunch of shades by the village gate just yesterday. Probably should have mentioned that. Oh? That's a bit disconcerting. Anyway, are you sure you want yeah, to Yeah, why would I want to know that information so I can actually, you know, plan around it? Yep, I got this. This protagonist reminds me of 9S. I'm sorry to put something like this on you. Eh, that's fine. I'm assuming this game wasn't all about going get mutton. And medicinal herbs. Also known as basil. Okay. Not entirely sure why we need a loading screen here, but... The power of SSD? There you go. Oh, it is overcast today, so we're not gonna have... The power of the sunlight to freaking, like... Apply massive dots to them, okay. Got some more basil. So, I'll call it there for today's video. Thank you all for tuning in. My pleasure for making the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe if you like the video and you want to see more content. I know I would appreciate it. Stay safe out there. Have a great day. And I'll see you all next time for some more Neo Replicant version whatever. Bye-bye, everybody.